When I made it out of the guild alive, I thought I was home free. But there was something wrong. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew I was in danger. I'm not a suspicious man, but I am a cautious man. I decided then and there to start running and not look back until my office door was safely locked behind me. But something else had plans for me not to make it that far. I don't know when I first began to suspect that I wasn't dead. I guess it must have been when I realized I was thinking about whether or not I was dead. The anthropomorphic entity with the scythe hadn't turned up, so I figured I was either alive or undead. And it didn't take me long to work out which. <laughs> I wandered through the streets in a daze, not really knowing what was going on. At first, I couldn't make out any colors. Then gradually the city came alive with vast clouds of pigmentation. Against it all, there was an ever-present mist of bright green, cloying and unpleasant. There was a dissonance about it that I couldn't place, until I realized I was smelling the rank odor of the River Ankh. I was smelling the world in a way I wouldn't have thought possible. Every smell fascinated me. The resonant scents combined into a symphony. Every street was an opera, every lamppost an invitation. I don't know how long I wandered the streets. It's hard to tell which way is up when your world has been turned upside down. I ended up back where I started because I didn't know what else to do. Plus, my coat was in the coffin, and Ankh Morpork is a bad neighborhood to be caught naked in. <laughs> 